Hey guys, how are you? In this video, we're going to talk about driving in Hong Kong. Can you actually rent a car in Hong Kong? Does it make any sense? Well, not really. Most places you can get to using public transportation. In fact, 90% of Hong Kong residents use public transportation. That is, double-decker buses, double-decker trams, and subway. Because the cost of owning a car is one of the highest in the world. Monthly parking alone will cost you four to five hundred US dollars. The cost of gasoline is 2.2 dollars per liter or eight bucks a gallon. But that is not stopping people from owning cars because Hong Kong is incredibly rich and in 2018 it actually surpassed New York by the number of super rich people that is those with a net worth of more than 30 million dollars. And that's why you see so many supercars, Ferraris, Lamborghini and McLaren and others. And Tesla is just an ordinary car here, in fact. And if owning a supercar is not enough to get you some attention, you can stand out by buying a special license plate consisting of any combination of letters and numbers. For example, like this one, Air Kiss, Beloved, I'm OK, and many others. So when you find yourself in Hong Kong, not a lot of people are thinking about renting a car. Well, I decided to do it and let's see, let's see what it turns out to be. It's not one of those fancy cars, right? I, just, I got this uh, BMW 1 Series. Where are these people going to drive these supercars? What people don't realize is that Hong Kong is bigger than just the downtown area. Like, I, lo I love going for morning drives and especially in this place, you, you get to see all different cars here. Yeah. Yeah. What car are you driving? I'm driving that grey one, but I wish that was my car. <laughs> oh wow. You can get to some cool places like Stanley, Big Wave Bay, where people go surfing, and others. So once you've rented a car, you can explore the island of Hong Kong. You can go to these fancy neighborhoods in the south side. And don't forget to pay for parking. How it works is you choose which uh, spot is yours minus to the left so you hit A and you can pay with your octopus card which you normally use for public transportation so it's really that easy and it only costs for 30 minutes is four Hong Kong dollars now let's go to the beach to make things even more challenging for you people here drive on the left side of the road part of the British legacy. Well, let's go for a ride. So, how much did it cost to ride a car for one day? Well, let's do the calculation. Seems like it came to 224 US dollars a day. Well, that's a lot. Plus, they froze $2,560 on my credit card for one or two weeks now. So, it's up to you to decide whether it's worth it or not. There'll be more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.